Welcome back to the final part of this week's Rugby Club. More from the British and Irish Cup now. The tournament features 24 teams, the 12 English Championship Clubs, the top six Welsh Principality Premiership Clubs, the three major Irish provinces and three teams from Scotland. Here's some action from round two. One of the most entertaining games of the week was at Goldington Road, where Bedford outscored Llanethley by five tries to three in front of two and a half thousand fans. The teams were level at 21 all at half time, with the West Walians former Newcastle wing Andrew Fenby making a fine solo score. Gang Llanethley actually took the lead early in the second half before the Blues fought back to win it 36-24. Back rower Brett Danes with this one. Ulster continued their good start to the tournament with a bonus point win at Mosley. Seven tries shared at Billsley Common in another end-to-end -end game. The Ulster team, known as the Ravens, scored through wing Tommy Seymour, prop Adam Macklin and locks Dan Tui and Neil McCoon. Also in the same pool, Pool C, London Welsh, impressed at Aberavon, and they'll be looking to push towards a semi-final spot when the third round games commence in February. There were two tries each at a soggy Talbot Athletic ground for number eight, Tom Brown, and former Wasp swing, Paul Sampson. Championship team Coventry claimed a comfortable win over Scottish side Heriots in Pool B, but were left with little to cheer this week after their president, Peter Rosborough, had to meet the RFU in an attempt to rescue the club. Cov's current status remains unclear, but their owner, Andrew Green, was forced to shut up shop due to outstanding tax bills and a failure to attract a new investor or to buy the lease for the ground. This Friday's game with Bedford could still go ahead with unpaid players pledging to play no matter what. Scott Roberts with two tries last weekend. So worrying times for uh, one of England's great old clubs. Here are the standings after round two. Reminder, there are four pools. The winners of each pool go through to the semi-finals. Leinster have taken the lead in Pool A, following a narrow 12-10 win over the Cornish Pirates. Uh, Newport 3, Plymouth Albion 3 was one of the less eye-catching results of the weekend. The Welsh side at least remain unbeaten and elsewhere Exeter beat the Gale Force. The Scottish representative side made up of the National Academy members and Glasgow and Edinburgh squad players 15-0. Uh, Munster remain on top of Pool B after they beat Bristol 18-6. Nottingham are into second after they beat Neath 14-3 at Meadow Lane. And trouble Coventry are up to third after that win over Heriots. Uh, the top two meet Munster in round three. We've seen the three games in Pool C. Well, under Welsh and Ulster have perfect 10 from 10 records. Ulster have the benefit of a home game against Welsh at Raven Hill in round four. And finally to Pool D, where Cardiff are two from two following a 51-20 win at Birmingham Solihull. At Air beat Rotherham 28-3 and Pontypris game with Doncaster fell victim to the weather. Uh, OK, back.